Did we? Did you add Rat Jam? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. Um, uh, we need to get Rat Jam in there because that's a good companion to Cat Jam. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. Mystery unboxing. Everyone. So. Rat Jam is not in. Okay. I'm gonna use the Eddie Cam. And unbox this thing. Is everyone yeah. ready? So as soon as we start the stream, it is now. As soon as we start the stream, Eddie is gonna be in the way, helping me. He's open the box. Excuse us. Excuse so here us. we go. All right, we've got the box here. Um, this box is a bit larger than I was expecting. Um, so we got we've got an Eddie for scale. Eddie, if you could please, Eddie, please, if you could, in front of the box. Thank you, Eddie. So Eddie for scale. The box is taller than Eddie. So. Not sure the best go. way to approach this. Yeah. Um, so. Please don't judge your packing job. Oh, oh well. <laughs> you didn't. Uh, you didn't say that before the stream. So. Um, scissors have been applied to the top of the box. It's hard to pack thirty-six boxes. Thirty-six boxes would be. What? How much is a box of Keyforge? Two to three pounds. Um, so I think that would be fairly heavy. <laughs> okay, this is the Mortivus I've lead, but community. Top of the box box. All right, so Justin has managed to crack open the top of the box. Here we go. Um, it is a thin box, yeah. Okay, Justin is now lifting the device out of the box. Um, oh, okay. So there is a there is another box inside. There is yet another box. Okay. So the outside box. Okay, so that says top. We've got a we've got something that says top on here. But you like that I'm not helping at all. You're helping. Yes, you're doing great. Yeah, I'm narrating. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, okay. Um, Justin is now. Delving into the second box. Yeah, management. That's what I mean, Nodith. Okay. Um, Eddie is also helping, by the way. Um, the suspense extra large pizza. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't, uh, I, I can't imagine how fresh the pizza would be at this point. All right, I'm ready to open this box. Okay. I think. Uh, okay. Oh, all right. And oh, more boxes! Right, we got a tube. Read me, our, read me first. Read me first. Here you go. Okay, now um, here we go. So uh, uh, we've got a letter <clears throat> to the good, gentle beings of Tabletop Royale, Justin, Nathan, and Eddie. Thank you for countless hours of entertainment, memes, and laughter. Some of us watch for the Eddie cams. Nathan Rants, and to gamble hard un er, hard earned mushroom mans. Others watch for the great gameplay, deep insight and strategy, and Justin leads. Some of us accidentally set you as our homepage two years ago <laughs> and can't figure out how to change it. Regardless, your efforts have impacted many in the Keyforge community for the better. For that, we are incredibly thankful. As a token of our appreciation, the TTR community has pulled together to get you a little something. Um, open the box this is attached to first okay. and unwrap the bigger pairing of items. Afterward, feel free to see the reverse side of the paper for some more details. Okay, so we've got a mystery afoot. So Justin is now diving into the first box. The one that it is attached to. Um cutting apart some uh, claps. Yes, uh, very, very heartfelt and thoughtful letter. I do want to add that um, while so. Justin is struggling with this box. All right, I got um, this. Okay, so he's pulling out something. Uh, okay. Um, so there uh, there was a towel um, wrapped around something, presumably fragile. Um, some extra spacers and stuff like that. But uh, So now there are two paired items there. Uh, it's got some tape going on. Um, Eddie's sniffing real close. Um, all right. Uh, is that a spacer or is that a sip? No, it looks like it's um, maybe you got a. Do not smell the towel. Oh, well, Eddie's going for the towel. I mean, 
Yeah. Oh. This is a extreme puzzle in itself is open. So the other ones. The bigger ones, the other ones. The the open bigger. This one? Yeah, but open the bigger thing. That may just be spacer. Okay. okay. I don't know. I mean it seems like it's Oh, they said bigger uh uh the unwrap the bigger pairing of items first. Okay, like gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. All right. So that thing first. <laughs> Don't pet it. We figured it out. Um we this is this is called wrestling. This is called wrestling IQ, okay? We we got to play up the suspense. Um All right. So Justin is diving into the second item now. <laughs> it's happening meme. It's happening. Wow. How many people were in on this? Oh, uh, uh, we got some art of some sort. What is this? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So hey. this looks like commissioned art. That's amazing. Uh, oh. yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is actually Eddie is in the way. You cannot see the art because Eddie is in the way. Um, yeah. Okay, so there's, there's two copies, one for me and one for Justin, so, okay. Okay. um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, actual commissioned art, look at that. Um, incredible. Yeah. We'll, we'll move it to the table cam, yeah. um, after that, once we get through the whole package, just so that people can take a look at it. Um, but yeah, no, that's incredible. That's sick. <laughs> that is so sick. And then you got Eddie next to Justin, and you didn't oh catch that gosh. at first. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Awesome. Yes. I that 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 is beyond uh, my expectations. Like I didn't yeah. know what to expect, but uh, that that is just frankly incredible. That's awesome. So thank okay. you. Okay. So I read the other side now. So don't touch that yet. All right. Uh, oh, hey, if you haven't worked it out yet, these are the two of you with your signature deck archons as envisioned by the legend balance sheet. Oh, uh, so balance sheet. Uh, what? <laughs> an actual artist. So you guys reached out to balance sheet. That's that's incredible. Um, so I guess one is light tasker and one is uh, then comp page then. Okay. Ooh. So the rest of the box and the tube contain various mediums of the art for you to do uh, with what you please. The posters are additionally signed by balance sheet. That's so cool. Um, the art is 100% yours to use as you choose. Mortavis will be forwarding the files to you. Um, at least a couple folks would like this as a play mat option. Oh, yeah. Um, a special thanks to Yo-Yo Milkworm for helping get a killer killer deal on the Aluminum Prince, as well as Stormstrong and Lord Farquaad for helping with planning and ideas. Um, lastly, but not certainly least, thanks to community members that pulled together to make this happen. And uh, I will now read the list of names um, that follow. So, uh, One Star Peeps, Five Star Games, Bearded Archer, uh, Bill I Am, Clay Claymore, um, Code Red Only, Dave C. Cordero, Justice Blinded, Kelly Yu, uh, which I believe is Kelly is unique, I guess, in chat. I think so. um, Hyper946, Lord of Winter, Lord Farquad, Mortivus, Must Be Jake, Nihil, Player Herp, P Rod, Sky Jedi, Stormstrong, Yo Yo Milkworm, Zach and Megan Armstrong. Awesome. Uh, and a rogues gallery if I've ever heard one. <laughs> so uh, this, this is actually incredible. Yeah, I like, incredible. like, um, I didn't know what to expect, and this is way, way, way beyond that. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is absolutely a gift that keeps on giving. That's um, amazing. Thank so, you all so much. Yeah, uh, really hard for us to um, to kind of like summarize that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I mean, right now, obviously, <laughs> um, you know, I can kind of just kind of fumble through it, but yeah, the, the absolutely incre incredible stuff so um big thanks to everybody so yeah yeah i i mean i i have said it before and i've always meant it but i do not think it is an exaggeration to say that um uh that the keyforge community is is the absolute best card game community i've ever been a part of oh uh, yeah and it Definitely. is yeah, that's not an exaggeration that's it is not like that it, that is, it, I have been playing card games 
since like 1996. Um, and I've met some amazing people during that time, but pound for pound, person for person, the, the, the Keyforge community um, blows them all away. My favorite so. part of the gift, free towel. <laughs> Um, so, and you can have the towel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah look at that. Just look at that. It's, it's chroma keyed. It's chroma keyed it's here. Key. Put it on the um, yeah, uh, we got the edit cam of the way, but um, oh, yeah, yeah. so, um, thank you everybody. Uh, I know, I know, um, I, I'm glad that people like to watch for the rants. <laughs> I'm glad that was called out specifically because I can generate a rant. Um, and this is one of those things. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, it's it's incredible. It's one of those like I, I yeah yeah I I mean I absolutely see. We need to get the archon art for um, the the archons, but yeah, there you go. There's mine. Um, let me see if I can find the cocktail chart. I can pull it up. Yeah. There you go. So, um, I don't know if it's put it on the card cam too. Okay. It may be chroma keyed because it's, uh, yeah. not phage. Uh, but I, I could do some sweet stuff with the chroma key though, right? Like, yeah, look at that. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, I, I, and, um, uh, these look, these look like they're pretty good on stream. They're even more amazing in person. Um, Light tasker. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's pretty dang cool. Yeah. Very cool. And it's like our two our two Vault Tour decks too, yeah. so it's like a big deal. Just there. just uh it fits really well. Yeah, and I guess I, I mean like That's awesome. Thank you. Like all so how much. Ha, like what other game right? Because it's not like someone else has this Archon, right? Right. Nobody else has this Archon art. No um, you know, like that's that's just a signature for us. Oh yeah, the two is the tube uh is the tube just posters of it um posters get the tube break into the uh break into the tube so yeah more towels more towels just posters okay okay i i, 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 I thought those. it was just posters yeah yeah i'll yeah. save those till later um yeah so we'd have to take it out of the tube and have to awkwardly put it back in the tube yeah for us but yes that's awesome very cool and, and yeah, I mean, this it, looks like a new good splash screen for us. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, no, so. <laughs> but yeah. This is uh, this is like profile art for me. Yeah, now. This is I sick. replace. <laughs> I absolutely replace um, old old uh, eight uh, bit Nathan on Twitter for for this. This is uh, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is this is ten times better. One million times better. <laughs> and Eddie, yeah, Eddie's yeah, art, yeah. That's my favorite part about it. Yeah, yeah, that that's part's great. amazing. So. It's looking like a good Eddie. Playmats win. Um, soon, I, can, I can get these to ink for playmats for sure. Yeah, I don't think that's much. I don't. Of a I don't think it would take long. Mm -mm. Um, so I'll, I'll probably you know. probably less than a week. So because I will yeah, definitely yeah, be ordering one. I, I was. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, I was joking about like the clout chasing earlier, yo yo. <laughs> but um, I did. I did want to thank everybody again. I know this has basically been at this point like a like a five to ten minute thank you. Um, but yeah, um, it, it's, uh, it, like, this is, this is such an awesome idea. Um, I, uh, like I said, I didn't know really what to expect. Um, when we saw the crokinole board, I was like, oh, I wonder if it's like a, like a laser etched wooden sign or something like that. Right. Um, so here's the, that's the combined combined. Yeah. That's, that's what a play mat would look like. Basically very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So. Yeah, balance sheet knocked it out. Yeah, that's incredible. The, yeah. the fact that it's like it's it was balance sheet too, which is one of the best keyforge artists. Yeah, yeah, that's consistent, awesome art. No, no, yeah. yeah. Well, well, I, I, so I never thought that I would play a game in which uh, people would want to watch me play it. Yeah, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so we started streaming. We were just like, "Why don't we just stream?" Yeah. I guess we're gonna yeah. play a bunch of games. We might as well just. Wait, stream. Yeah, I was like, it was kind of just all that way for us to like log our games. And yeah, we were it. like, we, we should record it because who knows, yeah. right? Um, and it 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 was like such, um, you know, it and I want to say a lot of like the the early people, um, Stormstrong is one of the, like the few that are still hanging around, you know, um, from from those first that first week or so of streams, um, 
and uh, and Bill. Yeah, Bill. Bill was very early. I do remember Bill. So uh, we actually we match made Bill and Stormstrong. I yeah, think, that's we? true. Um, so. Yeah, player Herp had been around. Yeah, player Herp's been around for a while. Yeah. There's, uh, there's you, a lot of people. If you look there. at if you look at chat history, player Herp I think has more messages than like the next two people combined. Yeah, that's a lot. So, yeah, uh, yeah. If y'all don't know that uh, balance sheet does sell playmats for all his art, and mm. they're they're reasonably priced, and he gets he ships them out really quick. So, yeah, a lot of cool stuff on that website. Um, basement days. What about basement. kitchen days? Yeah, we we were. Uh, I'm talking about the kitchen crew. Yeah, kitchen crew. Um, where we would have roommates walk through where, the background, and, and Ryan would be loud uh, on yeah. playing games in the background, and we didn't have sound figured out, so you could hear everything he said. And <laughs> you could hear the the dishwasher. And, Shadow World's art. Yeah, that's a, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It is really cool to have balance sheet like just in the community and being active in it, talking in Sanctimonious Discord and stuff. Really cool. Busy not well, uh, I mean we weren't so when um we met at Nationals, right, Zach? Mm-hmm. Um at the I, I I wanna say people started to feel like they should have recognized us after we both won a vault tour, if that makes sense, right? Because people are like, I guess we, oh, we should have known you, right? Because you've won a vault tour or something like that. We, but uh, before that, it was, we went to vault tour at Atlanta, like Fort Lord Farquhar was, hey, it's the DGR guys. And I was like, it was like, it was, it was like wow, someone recognized so, us. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. cool. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. I did like the basement, though. The basement was cozy. And the table was more stable in there. That's my yeah. one, one thing I wish, but we can't, we can't lift a 200 pound table up into the upstairs, so. Yeah, yeah, the 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 the, the I I do I do like the table in the basement. Yeah. It's a nice sturdy table. It's a great it, table. It's uh, for D and D. The yeah. problem is we were, we were playing D and D and we had to like mm-hmm. take down stream to play D and D and then mm-hmm. put stream back up and that was a pain. Yeah, thank you guys so, so much. I, it, thank like, you everyone like I said, so much. Absolutely surpasses expectations. It's insane. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, and I don't want to say I don't want to say that like um that like I I like could have figured out this right like I, this idea. This you could tell this is like a community idea, right? Because it's it's so much it's so much better than than I think one person could have come up with. Yeah, right? yeah. You know, um, and uh, yeah, I, I it it's just uh, absolutely magnificent. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's not a small thing to say. We wouldn't have gotten through the last year oh, yeah. without y'all yeah. and our stream. So yeah, thank all of you. It, it's again a, it's for a that. mutual thing, yeah. right? Like it's one of those where. Um, because we don't really talk about it on stream or anything like that um and because there are definitely definitely days where it's i crawl into this room and i'm like let's get let's get through another night kind of thing you know um uh, friday i think is a good example of that it was like i sat down and started playing games and that my shitty work week disappeared yeah you seem to have Um, much a lot of fun even though i didn't have much fun yeah well (laughs) yeah but it was still it was yeah Uh, stream is like the one thing i've been like looking forward to on a consistent basis for Mm -hmm. the last year so like right that that one anything to be able to look forward to was a big deal yeah so the dog (laughs) (laughs) that's fair yeah don't blame me one bit don't blame me Um, one bit well okay so somehow we have to play keyforge after this yeah it's hard to play some games (laughs) <laughs> um so uh because i'm excited about making the we, play mat of this now we, we need to like frame the letter somewhere yeah um so uh but yeah um we're gonna i'll, I'll put this over put in a safe right place now. yeah put this in a safe place over here um yeah that's awesome i'm gonna have to um gonna have to get that all on uh twitter later so yeah <laughs> You're not expecting the letter to be framed. Uh, I mean, you just got to keep it in the condition that it's in. <laughs> so it would be even better if there was a hilarious. Uh, See you, Pierod. Thanks for stopping. Spelling. Thank so. you, Rod. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Again, yeah. Um, Start opening decks. There we go. Uh, let's uh, let's do what we're here to do. Mm-hmm. Um, play some keyforge. So thirty-five k a piece. I feel like that's like a. So we looked at it too, but it was like there was like a one-time fee to have something embroidered. Yeah, because if I wanted um, to get for the, the patch, logo for like for specifically this. the patch, yeah, because the patch is replaceable. So. Yeah, so I I really don't like Light Tasker anymore. I think I'm gonna go with um, <laughs> my new favorite deck is 
Kudalina, the visitor of poison. <laughs> uh, eyes my drink suspiciously. <laughs> the visitor of poison. Uh, I've got... Oh, uh. You ready for this name? M.O. Waltrip, the 39,208th. 208th? 200, sorry, 285th. Okay, so it's the same number again? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. That really makes you think. Makes you wonder. Another one. Uh, this is a... <laughs> no. Uh, this is a Logos Shadow Star Alliance deck, so I feel like it's probably got some got some legs. Well, yeah. I got Sanctum Saurian Untamed. I got a Butterfree. Uh -huh. I like Butterfree. I know you don't like the Butterfree combo, but <laughs> I like it. I, I think it's neat. It's just that I hate... Uh, I kind of hate cards in this game that rely on other cards being yeah, played. Yeah, it comes into play and dies. Yeah, because it... And, Part of it'll get purged or whatever, and you're just kind of like. I'm gonna use some fusion sleeves. Yeah, they at least have amber, so they do something. Yeah, that's true. You're right. You do get amber for playing them, so. Worst case, worst case, you make some amber. Alright, move these decks off the side. We need to get someone who can like animate images uh, to animate mm -hmm. those for the splash screen. That would be really cool. Mm -hmm. I need to figure out how to do that. Because I think it's not that hard to do. There's just like programs that'll analyze an image and do it. Oh, this deck's got two Lay of the Lands. Or maybe I can figure out how to do an After Effects. Tabor with a draw card. A Z Wave Emitter with a draw card. Hmm. The, uh, the Star Alliance in this deck is unruly. Um, like this is this is like fake logos right here. This yeah, is like, this is like a heck? logos house um, on five cards, and they also do other stuff, right? So, So we have uh, we have to open three more boxes plus four decks. Yeah. So beyond this one, this including this one, including this one. Yeah. Okay. We have sixty decks open, so we need forty more. No, three Francis the Economists. Ah, uh, but there is a little Nif. Yeah, Francis and little Nif is interesting. Francis and little Nif combos. Growing source piles. Yeah, that would that would probably help at least with the uh, and with other stuff I want to do with it. So yeah, awesome. Super hyper Friday, yeah. So we're we're probably not gonna stream Friday. We'll, we'll we might do a day stream on Thursday, um, and then finish off our our openings. I don't know. That might mean we'll do like a pod on Wednesday or something, and then we can open like the last. We could do another box tomorrow, pod Wednesday, and then open the last ten decks on Thursday as like a pre release stream. Mm. And then y'all can watch Mortavis and Yo-Yo open some, some packs on Friday for the actual release. This next's not like mega banger status, but it seems pretty good. It's got some stuff. It's got some legs. So it's got Brend and Sack of Coins. That's pretty good. Content overload. Yeah. You're right. But you can never have too much content. M O Waltrip. Mo Waltrip. Funny that also that your new favorite archon is red and my new favorite one is green. <laughs> so y'all are gonna switch the we colors. Up. Roles. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, uh, uh, we can't accept this gift. We have to send it right back. Also, I did a thing for the Tide uh, with the art, Tide art instead of the stuff. So we'll see how that works out. If y'all don't like it, let mm, me know. Yeah, yeah. I think I like that. 
it's like, less like informative. Yeah, but it is artistic. Um, but it looks way better. Yeah, it looks way. Better. Claymore tier three. Thank you, Claymore. Twenty five months. Good lord. Now, like we're closing in on three years. Have done this. Yeah, we started in right November, half, I guess. Right. Yeah. So. Look weird if it was sideways. The uh, like the art. <laughs> I don't know about that. I did. Sky Jedi. Scott, shout out to Sky yeah. Jedi for sending me the full art for the the tide card. Tide art at the sideways. I'm not sure. I mean, it's kind of. Uh, what? Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. So it would be like long ways like that. I, mean, I could do that. Yeah. Um, we could preview it and we'll we'll ask everybody what they think it would look like, right? Yeah, so that, this is what it's gonna be like now. Um, but I think it's pretty like, clearly Nathan does not have high tide right now. Right. Just like streams and rivers. Yeah. I have blooming things and more I mean, long, long ways would look I mean it, we might be able to like crop it in such a way that it looks slightly better I don't know um, it's something worth uh, thinking about so yeah I got a little, nice little flower <laughs> it's pretty cool I want that flower you could you just pay take, three chains yeah take the tide yeah he rolled what I rolled like a seven that I rolled is that box cars I guess so <laughs> weren't me I think uh, I think I rolled something before. I think it was lower. I put a, a preview in Discord yesterday where I put like the the tide text on the art as well, um, which I liked because it you know showed you the rules around tide on stream, yeah. which I think is important for some people who don't know the tide. You never know when somebody's going to start watching the stream for the first time. Yeah, so, so you always want it to be inclusive. Yeah. I know we're probably not. The easiest watch to watch if you're a new player. Yeah, because um, uh, we, we play pretty fast. But I do try to try to answer questions if they ever pop up in yeah. chat. So, um, but yeah, we do we do play a little bit quicker. Uh, uh, we are you, yeah, you won. Yeah. Well, I think you won. You won't roll box cars. Oh, okay, cool. Sure. Yeah, I think the other side was definitely clearer. But this this side might be more like aesthetic, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll keep this. Uh, I'll keep, and I will just start with Lil Niff, and it is your turn. How do you explain a treats during the game, New Viewers? I guess they just figured out once. <laughs> yeah, they, I think they figured games it out. One, right? If you if you watch enough Twitch, you're probably familiar with point redemptions. Some channels do point redemptions a little bit more. Um, ostentatiously than other channels um, so I think the smaller your channel the the more interactive you can make the point redemptions <laughs> you um, like you like the aesthetic <laughs> the way it's written out like that yeah you I gotta, appreciate you that gotta, you gotta space it mm -hmm. alright uh, I will take the time okay so people can appreciate the mm. aesthetic <laughs> uh, I'll play a full aid Okay. Who will die? And explodes. And I'll discard away the pixie. Your turn. You want to give it a little lift for me? or No. Okay. I am going to say Star Alliance. I'm going to play Lay of the Land. Uh, I will look at the top three. Oh, man. And then I will draw a card. I will play another Lay of the Land. I'll look at the top three. <laughs> and I'll put it back and draw a card. Um, I am going to play Lieutenant Kirker. I am going to play Teresa. Yeah, those are Dragon Shield Sky Blue mats. They're pretty great. And I think I'm just going to shield you later on Little Niff because I think the two armor is pretty valuable in this set. Um, there's a lot of like deal two, but not a whole lot of... Um, dealing more than that so um and it is your turn i will draw all three just just two two times speed watch it that would, <laughs> that would be pretty fun i think uh i'll say a sanctum i will play a lagery of the lake i will heal or harm to have it fight teresa okay 
takes one. Teresa, no. I will cleansing wave. Game one. I will taxing journey to have it capture one. Okay. I'll light everlasting everlasting in place. Angle creature for my discard pile. Uh, that's it's just it's a shame that can't be used with like other creatures because you could like bring back the fall day. I mean, it's like not exhum, but yeah. sanctum with exhum. I mean, it, that would probably be fine, but. Uh, you might have to like give it like a couple other restrictions. Yeah, right, so. it might uh, not, it just might not have to have an amber pip. Like yeah. without an amber pip, it might be fine. But either um, way, I still like that card. I am going to say logos. I'm going to play forgive or forget. Oh, the sass monologue from Nathan. That was good. Yeah. Oh, um, from the marathon. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to forgive or forget. I'm going to archive lay of the land and Teresa. Uh, if I were a no fun meanie, I would purge like the fall day or something like that. But, <laughs> That's um, probably better anyway. I think this is way better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will play Hydro Cataloger. I'll gain one and I'll draw a card with the enhancement there. I am going to play Brain Eater and I will play Infomorph. Um, this is some prime real estate next to Kirker, and <laughs> I don't really want. Uh, I, Having multiple creatures that I could fight with next to Little Niff is a good thing. So, um, and it's your turn. I will draw three. I'll tell you to go ahead. I'll say Saurian. Play an Ultra Strostrum. I will ostracize to purge Little Niff. Oh. I will ostracize to purge Brain Eater. Okay. I just hate things. Ne negative two Amber. I'll play Medicus Locus, and I'll play Magistrate Vita to. Uh, exalt and reap with Larry of the Lake, which has a sneaky check with Medicus. Yeah, three is sneaky. Um, so that's why it's gonna die. I am going to say Logos. Um, I am going to play uh, Eddie, and I will archive a card. Um, and I am going to take three chains to raise the tide. Um, that lets me archive a card with the Hydro Cataloger. And I am going to play Vespalon Theorist, and then Infomorph is going to fight uh, Old Larry. Um, and it is your turn. I will drop a chain and draw two. I'll say Untamed. I'll play Ritual of Life. I don't think we've seen a Ritual of Life yet, but this card is pretty sweet. Destroys a friendly creature if you do return a different creature from your discard pile to your hand. That seems really good. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, uh, wait, hang on. Destroy a friendly creature if you do return a different creature card from your discard pile. Oh, yeah, that's good with the Fafalde stuff anyway, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, I think that card's just good in general, Yeah, I think, so. Uh, so I'm going to play a Bombix, which will explode. Okay. I will play Persistence Hunting for uh, Logos. I'll play Witch of the Dawn and get back something. This deck has Witch of the Dawn and Ritual of Life, which is pretty yeah. interesting. Uh, I'll just get back for Faldi and then it'll die again. Okay. After I play it. It's, I could get Larry of the Lake back, but it's, that's whatever. Yeah, yeah. Who cares, right? Uh, that is it. Okay, so interesting choice time. Um, I can go with shadows. Um, hmm. Or I can go with Star Alliance. Um, I think I go with Star Alliance, and I'll let you forge, uh, but pick out my archives. Um, I will play Lay of the Land, look at the top three. Uh, I could, like, fight for that key, but I don't think I really want to at this point. Um... Okay. 
draw that card. I am going to put a particle tracker on Lieutenant Kirker. So the creature gains fight, search your deck for an upgrade, and put it into your hand, and, and then shuffle your deck. So Kirker is going to go fight the witch, um, and I'll go search. Um, so I actually get to shuffle away a couple of cards. So I had to like oh, make kind of a interesting. Uh, choice you brain, there. You brainstorm fetch landed. Yeah, I, I did. I did brainstorm fetch land. So. <laughs> Um, I will get the Z-Wave emitter. Um, sorry, feels like playing a legacy yeah. deck. There's some cool stuff going on. Um, I I gotta say from like a like a a cool factor. I know there's been some scuttlebutt on the internet, if you can believe it, about people who think this set is not that great. Um, I gotta say, there's a lot of like really cool stuff going on in the set that it's at the point where the fun factor is high. I think I don't, yeah, I don't really necessarily care if it's good enough. Yeah, right. Like it, there's a lot of like fun to be had. So um, I am gonna play the Z Force Agent. I'm actually gonna put the Z Wave Emitter on Eddie to give you a very small window to get rid of Eddie, um, and I draw a card. Uh, incredible. I am going to techno babble um, and draw a card. Jeez. Um, and then I've got Teresa here. Um, do I play Teresa or do I equip Teresa? I think I put Teresa on the Z Force agent so that way I can like fight with it on a future turn. So, um, okay. And it is your turn. I'll say check with eight. Um, I don't draw any because I actually end this turn with seven cards in hand because of my archives plus all the card drawing that I did. Power Forge. <laughs> yeah, fun can only be derived from winning games. I'll say Sanctum. I'll play Red Hand Registry. You know, oh, you do have Shadows in the deck. Oh, yeah, no, I can. Uh, oh, I can I steal. I will play Bulwark. I will play. Orpheon lands chosen with a capture icon. I'll mm. capture onto Locus. Uh, I will play Light Everlasting. Mm. The second Light Everlasting. Ah, that's to get back Larry of the Lake. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. So I will forge. Um, all right well guess we gotta say shadows here because um i've got like six shadows cards in my hand so um uh oh start of the turn the z wave emitter is gonna award eddie um i am going to play scooped 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 onto um orpheon so it'll deal two damage to orpheon and it is not destroyed, so it's going to capture one from your side. Um, I am going to um, um, play Francis the Economist here. And then I'm going to play two One-Eyed Willows. Oh my gosh. Um, Z Force Agent is going to go fight Orpheon. Um, and I will gain one for the upgrade on the Z Force Agent. I am going to Ransom Bulwark. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with that. Lots of muffins. I was going to say that, um, or I, I, I've said on stream before that it feels like unfathomable especially punishes keyforge decks that are not good because typically the play style for keyforge decks that are not good is that you play a bunch of creatures who don't do anything on the table um and unfathomable has so many cards to just punish your opponent for playing creatures that literally do nothing um you you might as well have just discarded them um against unfathomable um it's not as bad against the other houses but unfathomable particularly is just like just 
you may as well just throw away a creature if it doesn't have a play effect or uh, I'm gonna ransom I think uh Ulork. Um and ransom I don't know if we've played ransom on stream yet or not, but it's a shadows upgrade that says this creature cannot be used and gains at the start of your turn. You may give your opponent to Amber if you do destroy Ransom. Jeez. So. Um, and then... Um, I guess I'm not forging on my next turn anyway, so I will walk the plank. You do have Amber, so I will just steal one. So I skip my next uh, forge a keep step. And it is your turn. I will drop a chain and draw four. All right, I'll say on tame, I'll play Gabuck, I'll play Meliobi, I'll play Chenille. I will use the Ritual of Life on Gabuck. So, oh. okay, let's me play a Medicus Locus, right? Yeah, it puts it, puts it, it into line. play, yeah. yeah. Uh. And then I will get back the Bombix. Okay, and that goes to your hand. So you can play the Bombix, yep, right? Yeah, so play Bombix, which destroys Chenille. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right, starting my turn, Ward, Eddie. Um, hmm. I could like steal so much amber with one eyed willow, but I wouldn't forge any keys. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna say Logos. I'm actually just gonna discard information exchange here because I do not threaten if I play it. Um, I'm gonna play Infomorph and I'm gonna play Arma Drone, yet another creature I can't use um, if I wanna actually forge keys. Um, the Espelon Theorist is going to reap. So choose a house, reveal the top card of your deck. It is if it is of that house, archive it and gain one, otherwise discard it. So I'll reap with Vespal on Theorist. I'm gonna name Shadows. I it's have. Shadows. So I archive it and gain one. Wow. Alright. I am um you have so much stuff. I'm gonna reap with Eddie. C Force. Um, your stuff is like slightly too big. Um, I spread this stuff out because I exp I foolishly expected you to start killing my creatures. Um, but this is one of the, this is the classic line them up and smash them into each other game. So Z Force Agent Tree is gonna get used by Teresa right now. Um, I think I take out a Medicus Lacus uh, with the Amber on it because that I think would be a time bomb. Um, and then Fafalde does what? Just like fights and heal, fully heals and gains one. Okay. Because you could play it next turn. Fight, reap, fully heal, and gain one. Okay. It's not. That it, good. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not bad. It's <laughs> yeah, not bad. It's, it's a lot of work. Squid, Squid dynamite. dynamite. Thank you for so. that prime. Um. Yeah, oh yeah, Star Alliance in this house? It's pretty Star Alliance in Dark Titans. Pretty good. Is, I uh I I my what my my initial thread on Twitter for this set is that I do not think it will be controversial in after after its release for a while to people for people to agree that Star Alliance is the best house in this set. Um and that Logos is good in this set. Um there's some clunk in Logos. Star Alliance, it feels like there's very little clunk. And there's so much efficiency. Um, it, it, Star Alliance in this set, honestly, in a lot of ways, feels better than Worlds Collide, and that's saying something. Um, it's it's definitely more use your other houses. Yeah, uh, yeah. Outside of Star Alliance, so it, it lets so, you like get way more efficiency out of the rest of your deck, or just right. re way more use out of the mm -hmm. rest of your deck. So okay, uh, Infomorph. Do I take out Meliobi or I take out like Wary? Um, I think I'd take out Larry, uh, because I could end up in a situation where you suddenly have a bunch of armor and it's difficult to remove. 
stuff. So, uh, okay, there you go. I'm going to drop a chain and draw three. Yeah, I'll say untamed. I'll molly mock your hydro cataloger. Oh, no. I'll play Fangtooth. Fangtooth? I will... Yeah. Yeah, so, um... I think I'll fight, uh... The tank Kirker, so okay. hazardous, and then this dies. Then I'll ritual of it, life. Uh, you don't have the skirmish because you don't have the right. Uh, let's see. I'll I'll use bomb to return for fall D to my hand. Okay. A uh, ritual of life's good with Molly Mock. It's like yeah, pretty good. It's like ritual life is really good. I think I heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll play for so much better than World Tree. World Tree's in this set too, right? Yeah. So weird. Yeah. Why? Like I don't know. Um, I feel like you should have one or the other. Then, then I could like Ritual of Life, the Molly Mock, to get back Witch of the Dawn. To get back something else. To get back something else. So I could play Witch of the Dawn. And I could just start the, the, the Faldi train again, or I could get. <laughs> get like Gabuck back. World Tree and Gabuck. I'll just get about Gabuck back. It's like slow, <laughs> takes several turns to set up. Exhum. It's exactly like that. <laughs> Alright, I am done. Uh, you killed all my Starlands creatures. I'm kind of mad about that. Uh, I forge? Yeah. Though? Yeah. This deck's just doing fiddly stuff. It's not really, like, stopping and, you yeah, or yeah, interacting with you. <laughs> yeah. My deck's like... Oh, Fang Tooth kills the armor drone. Oh, no. Uh, a creature I couldn't activate if I wanted to forge keys. Um... So this deck has ransom and static charge that you can go get with the Z Force thing. That when the creature fights, it goes and gets attachments, good. Um, which is pretty cool because it's like you you can set up um, uh, stuff for the uh, enemy. Um, okay, I do I take a Logos turn. The Star Alliance turn is like significantly worse, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Logos. Um, I'm gonna place static charge on to. The stunned Magistra Vita, or the Bulwark, who's ransomed, um, who just will sit there forever and deal damage. Um, I guess I'll just. Uh, the problem is you got the Fafalde next to it, so. Um, I also have Ritual of Life, so I can just sack whatever it is. Kill whatever is on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the correct play then is to spread it out. So I'll put this on Magistra Vita. Um, Vespalon Theorist is going to reap, and I am going to say Shadows! Incredible. <laughs> and... I gain one. Uh, and I gain one. Eddie's going to reap. And... Infomorph's going to reap. And... I'll say check with date and draw two. Yeah, zero amber control, so... <laughs> Actual zero. I don't know if there's any in the deck. I didn't see any. Uh, I don't think you played any. You have a blue clean a or corners and Octavia. Okay. <laughs> this deck ain't winning the games, but it's, it's kind of. <laughs> there fun. was some. Cool, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a shame. So it's a shame that like those um those the the really cool fiddly multi piece cards in this game it's it's a shame that so few of them actually deal with amber yeah yeah um silent cryptus i think is a good, another good example now punishing reap is like sort of dealing sort of. with amber but like for fall day there sure it generated amber but it doesn't like stop me at all right so there was a capture pip. yeah that's that's right liar there was one capture pip you got me there <laughs> that's true <laughs> turn in your balance sheet archon art <laughs> Next. Next game. Ozeal, who restrains reciprocations. Uh, Sanctum Saurian Shadows. So the basically the deck that Justin just played. The same deck. And this deck is called Fellini of Gutholm. Gutholm. Sad. 
Dark Souls character here. But you didn't have shadows, you had untamed the other guy. Yeah, yeah. I got a grayscale. Fellini of Gut Home. Gray deck. You know what that means. Ultimate power. And it's got logos and star alliance in it. Mm, uh oh. Yeah. No, no, Jess is going to be the one having fun. We'll see. Zenzi. Zenzi is really good. Crash Muldoon. Crash Muldoon. He's a good card. He is good. It's real good. Thoughts on Saren? Um, Saren's a mixed bag in this set. It's miss, not. It's not awful. You're missing the dump cards like Ludo, yeah. Scudum. You're missing that. Um, so that's certainly like a strike. So you actually have to be careful where you're exalting. Now you're not exalting nearly as much. It's definitely not World's Collab, bro. Um, so it does have good capture and yeah. control in it. No, the creatures are I, the, re good size. The creatures are big. Yeah. I mean, like this Vendor Altum dude, um, but the Scullion stat line, 7-2, it just doesn't leave the board, right? And like, ostracize is really good. Reach advantage is good, too. Outside of, like, destroying stuff, um, I mean, ostracize, you could argue that ostracize is meta-defining. Yeah. Because it is purge a creature. Um, and so... Decks that relied really heavily on Eddie or decks that relied on like combo pieces, suddenly you have an action that just takes it out yeah, of the Swallow Hole is insane. Absolutely swallow insane. Hole is bonkers. The fact that uh, um, Sarian has two purge um, in the set at common and uncommon. So. Miss Sensor Philo. Yeah, Sensor Philo um, is not bad. The, uh, the, the Sarian evil twins, because like. Evil twin sensor Philo is just play deal five damage to a creature that has amber on it is crazy. Yeah, it's really good. That card is absolutely crazy. Oh, I gotta bury the riches. Uh, we so we haven't actually been able to like pull off bury riches. In so this deck has uh, Quintinas. Okay. Yeah. So you could end up in a situation where you got a bunch of Sarians. Yeah, but if Quintinas, Quintinas and your like opponent is exalting their stuff, then bury riches works for them. That's too. true. Well, yeah, so. but your opponent like is they're most not likely gonna... not going to let Quintina yeah. hang around if they're the one with like board control. So, or if you have like an equivalent. Mm -hmm. board. Oh, got bulwarks and multiples. That's always good. Oh, we'll some multiples with Badge Magus. Oh god, first or last? Ooh. This deck is purging creatures. Golgotha, welcome sights. Condensed sleeve boxes of gun. I think in the set two you can get away with uh, not having much amber control if you have really good board control. And stuff like uh, Sanctum has really good board control in set. Sarian has but, the Crushing Charge, which is actually really, really good. Yeah, because it doesn't kill most of the Sarians. Yeah. So. Brend is good in the set, yeah. Yeah, brend has got a place probably better than in Worlds Collide. It's much easier to play him and kill him almost immediately. Yeah. Shadows has got a lot of removal. Storm from 30 months? Look at that. That's so many months. The big 3-0. We were just talking about how it's been uh, two and a half years. So. Yeah. There you go. Proof. Proof right there. Irrefutable proof. The stream has been around for two and a half years. We got affiliated like two weeks after we started streaming. So. Yeah. So it's basically December was the first time people could subscribe to us. So. Yeah, Crushing Charge. There, I mean, how many games have we played for Crushing Charge was like a one sided? Just like wipe everything up. Yeah. So. There's a lot of four power creatures in the set. Yeah. And Sarian. Sarian is not home to most they have, of them. They have mostly five power creatures, yeah. I think, except Faust uh, and the 
uh, console or, primus. Console primus, yeah, yeah. Eight. But that may be it. I think they have one more. I'm having a hard time recalling. Oh, wait, wait, who, who? I did. Okay. I rolled again for some reason. So I think the another thing that you're missing from like Worlds Collide is the effectiveness of the Starians on the table, right? Because mm -hmm. a lot of the Starians in this are very one dimensional. Um, they want to like fight, or they have some sort of downside. You have to like play around. Um, Undagnathus comes to mind. Um, Sensor Philo has downside. Yeah, Sensor Philo. They can't like, all be philosopher raptors. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and that that was going to be my point. It was like in you had like. Uh, Reader Gallum, <laughs> you had Philosoraptor, you had or Philophosaurus, um, you had just all of these Saurians that if they were on the table, Paraguardian, Paraguardian is in this set, mm -hmm. um, you know, which is good, but uh, you had these Saurians that like if they were just on the table and you just used them. So. Enlist Numinary. Do I know that one? I don't know what that card is either. Is that a rare? We may have seen it. Because I feel like we've only seen that card like one time. Unless Numenary. It is rare. Okay. Yeah. Take control of an enemy creature while you control the belongs to health. Sorry. With Amber on it. Okay. okay. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah, that card's insane, <laughs> right? I yeah. don't know that we have seen that. We might have seen one. I think, I think we may have had a didn't single get to play one. it, though. Yeah. Um, I will... I'm going second, right? Mm. I will keep. All right. I will. Through your conjecture and archive to... All right, I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Bulwark. I'm going to play Heal or Harm to uh, Ready and Fight and Reap. I could also just heal it and uh, gain one. Um, I want to use the full extent of the rules, so I will draw two, and it's your turn. So hello, Ghost. Pick up the archive. I will play Hydro Cataloger. I will play uh, Bill Jordan. Raise the Tide. And get Archive a card. Play Captain Crisage. I'll play P two PS weapons. Your turn. Okay. Um, I am going to say Sanctum. I'm gonna play first or last, and I'm gonna purge each creature with the lowest power. Yep. <laughs> um, and then uh, Bulwark is just going to reap. And it is your turn. I will draw one. Hmm. I held that. Um, I didn't draw anything into it, but it feels pretty good there. So, Hydrocolor is your favorite reference. What's it referencing? I see it says it talks about series of tubes, which is pretty funny. <laughs> is that just is it just referencing the series of tubes internet meme yeah. from many years ago? The senator from that? Alaska, who I think was who like disgracefully left office, if, <laughs> if memory serves. Yeah, one can only hope. Uh, I will say sorry. I can't remember. He was from Alaska. I'll play Crushing Charge. Kill the work. I mean, was, Scootum wasn't reprinted in Mass Mutations. So. Ted Stevens, yeah. Play, yeah of course, uh, course Andrew yeah. would know. Play Corns and Octavia. I'll play Vanilla Altum. I'll play Reach Advantage. And capture one more. Mine Bullets is really yeah. good. Uh, okay, I am going to say Saurian. I'm going to play my own uh, Venator Altum. I'm going to play Sensor Philo. I'm going to Carpe Venum, um, and I'll exalt Cornison Octavia and Resage. Um, and it is your turn. I will draw three. I'll say Starlance. I'll play Agent Septia, Colonist Chapman. Uh, I'll put Amber back on Altum. Yep. That's already raised, so that's it. I'm having to take some slow, inefficient turns this game. I am going to say Saurian. 
I am going to reap with sensor Philo so that I have an amber, so that I can ostracize your Venator Altum there um, because I don't think I'll ever be able to kill him um, as the game stands. Um, and then I'll take Venator Altum uh, and kill Colonist Chapman and I will exalt because the tide is low. Um, and it is your turn, I will draw one. Say sorry, and I'll play Faust, um, Medicus Locus, Corazon Octavia. Play Hedonistic Content to exalt each flank creature. And then this Corazon's gonna fight this guy. Nope. Oh, he can't. <laughs> I mean, you can, you oh, just yeah. don't want I'll to. I'll just reap them. Okay. That's fine. You certainly can fight Sensor Philo. I would not recommend it. Your turn. Um, and a very sneaky check. Not so sneaky check. Uh, with Medicus Lacus. Okay, so I am going to say Shadows. We're going to start by ransacking. Uh, let's, uh, let's test the old Shadow skills here. Uh, not looking so good. Looking pretty bad, pretty in bad. fact. By just discarding a strange ordination, I am going to play Cement Shoes on Faust. I am going to play Jackie Tar and Hobnobber. Um, and then I suppose I just take three chains to raise the tide, which will let me archive a card um, to keep you from doing Medicus Legus things. Um, I will draw three. That's hmm. okay. a, a lot of dinosaurs. C4 dinos. Yeah, I think well I think they move pretty far ahead. Um I think they're they're working pretty far ahead there, Jake. So Yeah, I, I'm glad they're working far ahead. And I, I'm also glad there's only two sets a year because I think it's that's enough. One right one now. set every ten months <laughs> is not enough. Yeah. But yeah. Hmm. And I don't I don't think it's a I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to have busted stuff in the game for people to want to chase. No, that's great. Your cards like uh, Martian Generosity and stuff like that. Um, nine out of ten Martian Generosity decks can't even make effective use out of the card, right? Um, then you've got the really busted one, right? Uh, so, mm -hmm. um, so, like, I don't, I don't think it's bad to have stuff that people want to like actually search for. Um, I'll play Starlands. I'm going to play Static Collection Array. Okay, so your keys cost fluctuating based off of the amber. Play Volmart. Okay. I'll play Volmart over here. Yep. Okay. Play Crash Muldoon. Crash Muldoon! Deploy. Uh, I'm going to use a neighboring non Starlands creature. I have Eticus fight the Hobnobber. Hob. Uh, and then. I will take three chains, take the tide, archive the top card, reap with Septia, do one to Jackie Tar and stun, and I'm done. There you have. But I would call Omega check. Hyper check. Um, yeah, if there wasn't fun stuff and broken combos to chase, then no one would play the game. Yeah. Or like, there, there's upper yep. level players that would never play the game. Yeah, don't think. Um, um, I, 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 I believe something. So something like I think the Gangrenot combo is you don't want both pieces to be a common because then it shows up too much right like i think i do think ganger not is a mistake um i do think having like a rule of six combo in a set is not necessarily a mistake um something like gray rider for instance is something you gotta work for because the gray riders themselves aren't very good at fighting right um so having two gray riders next to each other um isn't necessarily a rule of six so 
key charge post was weird. <laughs> Getting called out by Jay Filipeg. <laughs> um, KFPL finalist Jay Filipeg. All right, I think it is Saurian time. I am going to play Cornus and Octavia. I'll play Magistra Vita. Hey, Jackie Tar is dead, so I'm not going to use Magistra Vita here because I'm just giving you. So. How's the box looking so far? It's looking pretty good. Yeah. Or you, do you mean the mystery box? The mystery box was very cool. <laughs> we'll we'll, uh, we'll show off the mystery box prize after this game in case people weren't here to see that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because um, it's... It, 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 if you haven't seen it, you will be seeing it. You're going to see a lot of it. Within the next several yeah. days. <laughs> you'll, you'll be seeing it. You'll, you'll see it within the next several days. Um, and, and you'll... We're, we're definitely we, there's like no way we can't it's so awesome we have to incorporate it into the stream somehow so yeah yeah <laughs> all right uh venator uh, i guess i'm in a situation where i'm taking chains for the rest of the game because the collection array uh i'll archive the top card oh Tro trojan saria pod is in this deck huh <laughs> um did you lose the stuff right i did and it was in my archives not that I think this is a bad deck for uh, Trojan Sar or yeah, the Trojan Sauriopod. Um, Venator Altum is going to go kill Medicus Lacus before I just straight lose the game to that card. Um, and then Sensor Philo gets a free fight versus Septia because um, uh, of the Amber. Um, I will drop a chain and draw two. And it's your turn. Say logo. Let's pick up the archive. Play Zenzi. Play Bill Jordan. And take the tide. I have a card. I think it's two Bill Jordans, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to theory your conjecture to play the top card. It's Eureka. <laughs> okay, well, play it back there. All right, well. <laughs> Captain. Presage will. <laughs> Captain Presage has no keywords. Not a thing. No no actual keywords. It's, it's a weird inclusion in this set. Yeah, there's not a lot of keywords in the set for him to gain. Zlovis so doesn't have a lot, right? Right. They don't have Titan Guardian, so he I'm can't gain Tom. Fight Octavia. Okay. I don't know that Logos has any I can think of, but yeah. Armor Drone's got, like, armor. Right, it's not. <laughs> uh, okay, come on. All right. Um, I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to play Bryn the Fanatic to give you an Amber. Um, I am going to Cement Shoes Faust. Um, and raise the tide. Um, I am going to unstun Jackie Tar, and then I am going to play Gas Pipes Malone. Um, and it's your turn. I will drop a chain and draw the archive for. Oh, uh, yes, archive time. first. Uh, then draw. Okay, and it's your turn. Okay, I'll say Logos. Play Eureka. Two cards. Gas Pipes rates up there um, amongst some of the worst creatures in the game. Um, but he's done more work than I would have expected him to in this set. I'm going to fight Gas Pipes. Okay, see you later there. Took a fight from Zinzi Zinzi Zinzik. I'm gonna reap with Bill Jordan. Forge. Justin does not forge because I took the tide. Yeah, my keys cost seven. Archive a card with Bill Jordan. And the static collector array. Chris uh, will. <laughs> no keywords. I'm never gonna have keywords. I think I'm just gonna fight something. 
I'm gonna yeah. fight. Uh... Let's fight Altum. Okay. We'll trade this Amber back and forth. Uh, oh, yeah, it does takes four. So it dies, right? Yeah, and you took the Amber. Yeah, I took so, the yeah. So yeah, it doesn't it doesn't exalt or anything because it's dead. Okay. So uh, that's it. All right, so I will forge at six mm -hmm. then. Okay. Yeah, skirmish. It's only uh friendly. Well, you control yeah, another it's creature. Only friendly. Yeah. If it if it, sh it should be everything on it, I think. But... Yeah, that would be that'd be cool. Yeah. But yeah, it says well, you control another creature. So. It is before fight, so that is. I mean, so like yeah. Um, uh, gas pipes can crash into someone um, and give them an amber, right? Or you can even throw them away um, and uh, make somebody capture an amber. Uh, I like gas so. pipes. Okay, I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Badge Magus here. I am going to play Bring Glow. Oh my god. Um, that's a everybody gets amber. Mm -hmm. Everybody's getting amber. Um, except Brent because he's getting a hammer ground. Pow. Um, okay, and I don't I don't have to worry about the tide this turn because of the static collector array. I managed to get you down low enough. Um, and uh, I'll drop a chain and draw three. And it is your turn. I'll say the logos. Uh, I have Barry Rich. I do have Barry Riches. Yeah. I'm gonna fight the Badger Magus. Dead. Easy. I'm gonna positron bolt the Vita. Uh, Jackie Tar is dead. An information exchange to steal two. Who stole from hey. me? I stole that. I stole fair and square. And then Bill Jordan is going to fight Magistrate. And I'm done. Alright. I am going to say Saurian. I'm going to play Sensor Philo. I'm going to play Senator Quintina. Um, I am going to play Spoils of Battle. This guy. Oh, are there, they're there. Um, they're there. Uh, Philo will fight that Octavia and put four damage into it. Um, I guess I take three chains, um, to make you pay the seven. I'll drop a. Ch oh, I get to archive. Archive with the cataloger. Okay. Um, drop a chain and draw. Peace. <laughs> Do you remember the other night when Justin was playing, and uh. My deck was clearly better, but you just stayed in the game yeah. far longer than you should have. I feel like I, that's me this game. That's, that's totally me. I, I, that's me. I, I see myself me in IRL. that game. All right, I'll say Sanctum. Or, sorry, I'll play Ultras Rostrum. Play Corners and Octavia. Play Magistrix Vita. I will exalt friendly non Starline creature to read with them. Uh, non Sarian. Non Starline, yes. I will. All the Star Alliance creatures and reap with them. I will have. Uh, it, it, do you want to fight Quintina first? Because you would have to exalt after a creature reaps exalted. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll fight Quintina with Octavia. Okay. And then this Octavia. Well, Octavia's in here. I'm seeing this now. Since your phylos are invincible. Since, yeah, they're they're unkilled. <laughs> I'll just reap, I guess. <laughs> My sensor phylos will blot out the sun. Alright, your turn. You took the tide, yes. 
Mm, no. no. Okay. Charge of the Philo Brigade. Okay. Yeah, I think I have to run. Uh, I have to say, Starion, my Philo is run through your Cornice and Octavia's. Um, and then I play uh, Barry Riches. Um, so if the tie is high, move one from each creature to its controller's pool. Um, otherwise, raise the tide. And I will drop a chain and draw one. I'll say check with eight. All right, I'll say Star Alliance. Diplodocus immunity. That's kind of a funny. <laughs> it's a funny flavor text. All right, if my brain, I don't know if my brain can handle the Starlight's turn. I'll pick up the archive. Okay. Oh my god, you haven't. He hasn't said Starlight's so long. It's gonna be ugly. I will play Riska. Oh no. I'm um, gonna give her Amber back. Raise the tide. Okay. So the deck have two. I guess you could have drawn back into the other one. I will. Yeah, I don't know. Play Kirker. Oh no. I'm gonna give Kirker two Lay of the Archons. Oh no. He doesn't have Amber on him. He's gonna fight this guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll take one, I guess. You'll have four armor and I have five power. And then I will. Unity or Discord. To return Kirker and uh, I guess I could reap with Muldoon first and then return Muldoon. Yeah. You could action Muldoon. I could action Muldoon, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. And then, if he was like in a better position, you could yeah. like action him. I can play. See how do I get Zenzi? I need two creatures over here. Play Kirker. I can crash Muldoon down here. Play the two lights of the Archons on Crash Muldoon. I can just discard this colonist Chapman. Crash Muldoon can fight the sensor Philo. I take one. Walmart Reap. Make keys cost plus three. And that's my turn. I'll draw up to eight. I had no business being in this game for as long as I was. Sensor Philo's are carrying you. Yeah, hard <laughs> carried by Sensor Philo, for sure. Um... Zinzi, Zinzi is in the set. Yeah, all um, the leaders are in the set. Yeah, Unfathomable does not have a leader to my knowledge, but um, unless you want to count the chosen one, but I don't. It doesn't. It doesn't have like special effects or uh, special effects for being the center of your battle line. So, my chaotic amber snakes. <laughs> um. Well, I do forge. No, I don't no. forge because of Walmart. I am going to. I. Uh, I don't. What could I draw? Are you sure Saurus Rex is in it? I thought. I swear we had a Saurus Rex deck. I could be wrong there. I was wondering about that the other I day. We, I thought we opened one. I'll you. I can't remember though. I thought we opened one. 
Calling a Maverick. We haven't Maverick. seen many Mavericks. Yeah, um, I had the Maverick. With the bad Penny. Yeah, the Maverick ba- Bad Penny. Oh, that was Legacy. It was Legacy yeah. Bad Penny. And then we had the Maverick um, Old Bruno yeah. in Saurian, which is not a bad house for like an Old Bruno to be. Worlds Collide Mass Mutation? No, apparently it's not. Well, uh, we may have just hallucinated that. Yeah, it must have been. Okay, I guess I'll put my archives in my hand and say shadows, and I will um, take three chains to raise the tide. Archive a card. Um, I am going to booby trap Zenzik. Uh, and I'll play Whisper, and I'll play Seeker Needle, and it is your turn. You can forge for seven. Wonder why it doesn't make really s- sense for. Was um, Cincinnati's Rex reprinted in this set? Uh, no. Well, I can say Sarian. Primus Ungus. Ah. Play your reach you miss your reveal? Oh, Sky Jedi. You can, we'll show um, you in a second. You yeah. can go back to the... Um... No, we're, we'll show off the thing after this game. Oh, I was going to say, if you want to see our reactions in real time, oh, yeah, you yeah. can go back and watch at the beginning of the VOD. So. No Kalok Stone Father. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's true. I will play Hedonistic Intent. Okay. Yeah. I'll play Console Primus. We'll reap with Console Primus. Okay. Move that there. I'll use the Rostrum to move this here. Mm, yep. I will play Faust. Yep. I'm gonna reap with Vita to exalt and reap with Valmart. Yep. And then Octavia, we'll just reap. Go to a billion. Okay, I have lost. Okay. Ooh wee. Okay, so that was in that game way longer than I should have been. Uh, I don't have enough like ways to answer your board. This exile is really good at taking the tide. Oh, those cards. Yeah. I had an amber. I had another. How many were amber there? Amber back in are the there hand. three bilge wardens in that deck? There's I've... two. You you two, you purse two PS weapons. Okay. And a bilge warden, but okay. there's two bilge wardens. There's uh, two Amberbacks, reach advantage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Build the tide setup. Yeah, thanks to you, Sky Jedi. Made it happen. I think it looks pretty good. All right, we'll show off the art that was yeah. commissioned for us on behalf okay. of our generous yeah. community. Uh, grab it real quick. I'm gonna put this in the car. Don't do. All right. Yeah. So we had. There you go. Once us again, for anybody, as our signature archons. Yeah. So anybody who has joined uh, since the beginning of the stream, uh, Mortavis arranged it. Uh, there's a litany of names um, that uh, uh, was included. <laughs> the Eddie so, is very cool. Yeah, Eddie is right there, which is awesome. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the Archon art behind us is the actual decks that we won with uh, Vault the Vault Tours with. So um, this is the Archon art for Confage, um, and then that's Light Tasker right there. So um, awesome stuff. Pretty like, sick. Uh, buy a balance sheet. Um, if anybody uh, is aware of uh, balance sheets work inside the game. Um, but yeah, just incredible stuff again. Um, it's very completely, awesome. <laughs> yeah, like mind blowing, honestly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Thank you once again. Words cannot describe. Um, we'll have playmats available for the soon, hopefully. Yeah, they'll make play. Uh, they'll make. They make uh, a pale imitation of what we actually feel for this. Yeah, this, no, is, this is amazing. Uh, just, just absolutely, uh, insane. So. Yeah, so uh, they gave us 
split up, and then they give us two copies of the full one, one for each of us, and then posters as well. Yeah. So we have it in all kinds of ways. It's awesome. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. Um, we we what we have to do now to make it a competition is we have to sell the joint play mats and then the individual the by yourself one the yeah. by yourself play mats and so mm -hmm. we can so we can split the community down there. We we talk about how You're awesome the community is Nathan and then we we make the community fight each other over <laughs> which one of us is better. So there are reasons. Oh, okay. You want ham? <laughs> Shipwreck. That's true. That is true. I do think I get smoked because you're buying two and one, right? Yeah. That's true. I want just Eddie as well. <laughs> I would pay for that. It went Fellini, Wayopolis' Scrivener. What? Did you already have like a. I had a Fellini. What was the last deck that I played? Fellini of Gut Home? The last deck you played? Yeah, it was Fellini of Gut Home. Oh. This is Fellini, Wayopolis' Scrivener. Hmm. Excuse me, algorithm. I've got some choice words for you. Hmm. You want real drama like wrestling? The real <laughs> drama in wrestling. I love that. Yeah. The old dining room brought in our chair. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can guarantee you, we have not touched that link. because there's, there's a lot of the, uh, a lot uh, yeah. of our, um, <laughs> also, a lot of our the, channel the commands new rules are aren't out yet, right? So yeah. in English. Yeah, a lot of our channel commands are. Um, it is fair to say dated at this point. Eddie gets a treat. All right, we can do that. Yeah, Archon Archon is probably better because uh, that's just a static URL at that point, right? Instead of uh, pointing to a file. Oh. He didn't really move for that, but. No, said, I'm not getting up. <laughs> yeah, oops, all for just please. a treat. Just a treat. Oh, God. Look at this. Look at this uh, untamed suite. <laughs> Double Chelonia, double Deepwater Gruen, Key Frog enhanced with the draw card, a Moogling, two Reapensos, a Waste Knot to use on the Key Frog, uh, Spore Gorgers to use with the Reapensos. Oh man, this Untamed side is pretty exciting. Double Spore Gorger and Waste Knot, yeah. Um, it's got Creed of Nature, which is like negative synergy with the rest of the the, uh, the Untamed, but it's there. It's got it. Creed of Nature is, I think, one of the worst of the of those Untamed artifacts. There's a lot of bad Untamed artifacts for some reason. Oh man, more Sensor Philos. Please, carry me. <laughs> carry me to victory. There's a lot of Saurian in this box, right? I got Saurian again, too. Oh god, the first unfathomable of the night. Yeah, I don't. It might be good. I don't know. We'll see. Got abandoned ships. Abandoned ship is really good. It's not bad. Chosen one is good too. I got a lot of untamed guys. You don't want to abandon ship. Yeah, there. yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like deep abandoned ship, deep water grooving. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, Farquaad. Do it, just do a mod stuff. It's being an awesome mod. Yeah. And uh, Coffee Saga contributes to Arcana Kana, correct? So um, she's she probably knows the best places for it to point, right? So that's good. Arcana Kana rules. Yeah, that was good. I can't believe we don't have English rules yet. <laughs> I mean, I can believe it, but... Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know why you would send rules to the failed country of the United States. <laughs> right. Point, so. The sad and failing United States. <laughs> I 
I'm sure I've had a lot of Medicus Locus. Yeah, why why make rules for a country that doesn't even that exists only on paper at this point? These regular white dragon shields are a struggle. Go. I can't I can never tell which way's up. <laughs> I haven't it's figured really out. Now, but, an yeah. Yeah. The good news is the United States has dark tidings now. Everyone should be able to get them by next week. It is it is on its way to distributors or sorry, it's it's at distributors. That distributors it's on its way to going to stores. FLGS's so yeah. Worry not. Getting better now. Uh, we're probably on the uh, up and up as far as like vaccinations and stuff like that. But um, the um, the systemic problems in the country are yeah. not anywhere near. Yeah, small. exactly. So here's here's the thing. If if you're if you're one of the people who wondered how Trump was elected president, and you didn't figure it out in the last four or five years, um then you are not prepared to stop him when he runs in 2024 or when Don Jr. runs or whatever, right? Like, um, uh, yeah, you, the the stuff, the conditions that led to somebody like Trump being elected president have not, have not changed. Yeah. Um, um, so Him being banned off Twitter, though, has definitely culled some of that insanity. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so... I wish Twitter had done that in 2016. <laughs> Although, you mean, or you mean like like 2013? 2013, right? yeah. So the Omega and Junior. It'll be a fun. So I think I think there there are non-zero odds. The first female president is Republican. Yeah, and it's like Nikki Haley or somebody, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. So. Um. Yeah, I it there's there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. We're not a politics stream. I could sit and talk politics for a long time. I think that will be a TTR con exclusive. <laughs> Just listen to Nathan rant about politics. Me ranting about politics. Um me me ranting about so. be a ticketed event. Ivanka. Um I don't think any of his kids have the charisma to become president yeah because as much as they like as, as awful as trump is he has charisma and he can make you listen to him like he can make followers listen to the things he's saying Thoughts even though if it's not faster. even if it's a string of of word vomit he makes it sound you're like when you're like oh okay yeah, yeah. I, I hear you that's well, it it's know? a classic salesman yeah. as somebody who can rant and a lot of, oftentimes my rants are colliding from subject to subject from segue to segue tangent to tangent right so <laughs> <laughs> Um, Starwalt. It's pretty yeah. funny. Look, but like Nathan Starwalt never won a vault tour. Nathan Starwalty did. I can't believe they sent you the chair with your fraud name. Yeah. Fraudulent name. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna like talk about like aspects of the american government that are the least democratic the senate is one of the least democratic institutions in the entire country right um and the thing that the thing that drives me crazy about political arguments um is how much of it is actually kayfabe <laughs> right like actual politics kayfabe um because there there are no new arguments these are all arguments that have happened for hundreds of years. Um, when the Dakotas were added, it was an argument as to whether they should be one state or two, because it was just called the Dakota Territory. And then they decided to split into two territories, right? Um, yeah, to just have more seats on in, in the Senate. So. <laughs> all right, so I won that roll, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, seven. Don't want to expand too much because of the, um, maybe the Carolinas and Virginias, I assume. Uh, well, North and South Carolina. So the thing you have to remember about South Carolina is that, uh, it was a slave state. Um, 
for large portions of time before the Civil War. Uh, you Well, I, I would say the hundred years leading up to the Civil War, South Carolina was primarily black. Um, and right. that is effectively erased from history. And it was primarily black even after the Civil War um, up until the large uh, Scots-Irish immigration in like the 1870s, 1880s, something like that, right? Um, and so that's the difference between South Carolina and North Carolina, right? North Carolina, you had plantations and stuff like that, but it was like there were there were actual free cities. South Carolina, on the other hand, was just like... Uh, Charleston was the richest city in the world at one point hmm. because of the slave trade and the cotton trade. Um, it was uh, so like the the South Carolina. It, you can you can see why South Carolina and North Carolina are separate. Right, Georgia was a penal colony. Um, you know, so they, they had some you, like uh, there. So yeah. But that's like that's the major division, um, I would say. <laughs> so yeah, no, code red, smart ass, <laughs> half the rant. Some of my code red right now. <laughs> okay, I am going to start by saying, sorry, I'm, I'm going to play pterodactyl, and it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to say, uh, unfathomable, play recusal chant, exhaust a creature. Play Thundertoe, exhaust two creatures, deal two damage to each exhausted creature. I'm going to abandon ship and bounce into your hand. I'll play the Chosen One and the Father Creator. Okay. It was like all my unfathomable payoff in one, yeah, one hand, but I don't have... Uh, it was five cards. So. <laughs> okay, I am going to say Saurian. I'm going to play Saurium. What is the flavor text on this? Exhibits of the Republic's Aeon's long history make it abundantly clear how futile it is to try to change them, which is, I think, relevant to our political discussion just now. So <laughs> I am going to play Terror Dactyl again. Excuse me. Um, my large dinosaur wants to be in play. I'm going to play Sensor Philo. Uh, and then I've got Decadence. Exalt. Ready. Move one. Salt ready. Uh, and use. I'm gonna exalt ready. Use sensor Philo, and I'll just reap. Uh, there's like an argument to crash it into the chosen one, so that it uh, takes some damage there. Um, it's your turn. My it's all cards, right? So no, just creatures. Just creatures. creatures. The sorry, I'm still ready, but you take two, um, and I will draw three. So Star Lance, I'll play exploratory craft. I'll play Cheetah. Mm. I'll play Sabotage Mission, which is keys cost plus one for each different power value among friendly creatures during your opponent's next turn. Mm. I'll zap for three damage to Sensor Philo. Okay. <sighs> and your turn. All right. I am going to say Untamed. Um, first things first, waste not on the terror dactyl to draw six. My God. It's insane. Dropping frames? Uh, yes, Two, we were dropping a bit of frames. Three, four, five, and six. It should be better now. Yeah. I missed untamed cards there somehow. Um. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, I guess I'll take three chains because I'm not drawing any cards for several turns to raise the tide. Okay. Uh, I am gonna play Chelonia and draw a card. I will play Keyfrog and draw a card. Game on. And gain one for Trelonia. I'm going to play Spore Gorger and gain one for um, Trelonia. I'll play Creed of Nature.
and um, Reaper. So that I'll ready the Spore Gorger, reap with the Spore Gorger, give it a plus one plus one counter, and then um, do I want to pop that? I think I do. I'll go ahead and pop it. Um, you don't have Sanctum, so you'll you'll want to each other creatures, so not the Spore Gorger, but everything else. Okay. Um, and it is your turn. Um, I'll say check with six. Okay. Let's say Saurian. The frog. Yeah, it's awesome key frog. I'll play Rostrum. I'll play... Um... I'll take three chains and raise the tide. Okay. Play Medicus Lacus. I'll play Physicus Felix if the tide's high. I put it up there... The meatball didn't come steal it. Oh, I got you. Or yeah, so they don't get in a fight. I got you. I got you. Why? Why would you move it there? Can, um, Edward, can I interest you? I interest you in moving this way? You don't play city state interest. No, I cannot interest you in moving that way. Go. Oh. Okay, so you want to get on the ropes, boards? Oh! Jeez. Go right there. Go. Jeez. It's... All right, I'm done. Okay. Reported. There you go. There you go. Hey, I get to exalt an enemy creature. With Physicus Felix. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, City State. Okay. Like, where did all my amber go? Um. All right, I am going to say Logos, I guess. Um, I'm going to take three chains to raise the tide. That way you don't blow me out with Medicus Lacus by forging with all of my amber. And then... I am going to play Osteralis Seaborg and gain one from Chelonia. I am going to play Infomorph and gain one. I am going to play P.I. Sweven and gain one. Um, and then I'm going to play Forgive or Forget and archive two cards from my discard pile. So I'm going to archive the Waste Knot and I'll archive the Pterodactyl. Um, and... I will drop a chain and draw one, and then the chosen one will explode. All right, I'll say stop abusing Eddie. Unfathomable. I did not even touch Eddie. I know better than to put my hand on that dog when it is chewing on a treat. I'll tell you that right now. There are good ideas and there are bad ideas. And one is touching a dog that is actively chewing on something that it enjoys. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll say unfathomable. Still can't kill the stupid Chelonia. Really? Having elusive is a uh, pretty annoying. A problem. Turns out. I'll say play Wikola. Play Seabringer Kikoa. I'll play a Photic Raider and Capture 2. I'll play a Skiffos. This Photic Raider will reap. Is 
do I take the tide? Just to make you take the tide is like what it would do. The fire crater can't even reap actually. Because of the Sarerium. Unless you took the tide. Yeah, then we'll get the six. Hmm. Uh, sure, I'll take the tide. And then I will reap. Okay. For sure. Alright. I am going to say Saurian, and I'm going to put my archives into my hand. Um, I will take the tide. I think this game would be over if I had access to my creatures before now. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> or if I, if I, I'm, I like drew two, like I chained untamed cards after drawing the six after the first uh, waste knot, but I think there were some like really dumb uh, things I could have drawn on that waste knot. Uh, anyway, I am going to play Pterodactyl and Undagnathus. I've got some backup uh, 12 power creatures. Um, I am going to play Laposaurus. Um, I, uh, will play Humble. I'm going to Humble Wakola. Oh, I gained three for the Chelonia. Um, I'm going to Humble the Wakolia. I will... Play Senator Cantina because that complicates your next turn. And I'm just going to discard this Spoils of Battle. I could use it to stop you from forging, but it puts a bunch of amber on your creatures, and um, there might be a situation in which uh, Medicus Lacus absolutely punishes me. So um, I will um, untap. Okay. I will draw three and drop a chain. I'll say Sarian. I will use this to move this to there. I will raise the tide. Go to seven. I'm gonna play two decadence to move these there and there. Yep. And I'll play crushing charge, destroy each creature with power four or lower. You forged. I didn't stop you forging. Okay. You had six at the start of the turn, correct? Okay. This gets archived. Um, dies. This dies. So I forge my key with the key frog. Yep. Which is more or less happening anyway. Um, all of this is toast. I'll fight the sensor. And Medicus Locus will just read. Exhaust. Your turn. I drop a chain and draw two. Okay. Uh, I am going to say untamed. I am going to waste. Oh, I, no, 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 no. I, yeah, I can't spend that. I remember. That was after I forged. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I sim I, there's not been a turn this game yeah. since he played the City State and the Medicus Locus that. I, I've got seven chains for a reason. I'm going to waste not my pterodactyl to draw six. Was Medicus the lowest power creature? Yes. 
So you did not reap. So I didn't reap with it. I guess you could reap with it before you crushing charged. Yeah, I did that. There you go. Ordering, very important in the set. Okay. I am going to say untamed. Uh, uh, did you exalt it? You did, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am going to say untamed. I will take three chains to raise the tide. <laughs> I uh, will play Chelonia. I will play a deep water Gruen in game three. I will play a deep water Gruen in game three. I will play a Mookling in game one. Um, Got Reaper so. I will put three plus one plus one counters on my Mookling. Um and uh it is your turn. I will drop a chain and draw nothing. Alright, I'll say unfathomable archive. Play portal. Uh def I have fortress six. You do not forge because uh, the, your keys yeah. cost 11. Take the tide. I will fight Chelonia, fight Chelonia. Was he? No, I already tied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's not dead. Not dead. Fight the Moopling. Play Skiffos. And that's it. Yeah, so I will forge. Um, I am going to say Saurian. Uh, I'm going to play two Visitor Altums. Yeah, I think these decks are both good. Um, Quintina, okay. oh, yeah. Quintina is going to fight Medicus Lacus before I lose the game to it. Um, and then uh, I can th I can threaten. Um, I take three chains to raise the tide, so he dies. Um, and then Undag Nathus just reaps, and I will say check with six, um, I will drop a chain and draw two. He drew, he drew 12 cards off waste, not this turn, so. Oh, this game, yeah. This turn, this game, yeah. Uh, I'll say Starlance, I'll use a craft and draw a card. I lose. <laughs> Lose with eleven chains. Yeah, I lost the game with eleven you chains. You won the game with eleven chains. Yeah, or yeah, I won the I won the game with eleven chains. Hmm. This deck is good. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I I lost. I, I the game ends. I have information exchange. Final analysis. Eureka in my hand. And um, I'm pretty sure final analysis at some point in that game would have been insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Diff. Yeah, exactly. Right, player hurt. Like, I had to start, I had to take chains for the tide every turn of that game, with the exception of, I think, one. Um, no, I think I had to take chains the whole game. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a sweet combo. You've got the logos to archive both, right? Because I got back the waste knot. Um, Uh oh, Prospero. legacy, legacy something. Oh, <laughs> what is it? All right, so this deck is Fabrizio, Rain Hollow's commander. I have, uh, uh... It turns out you can get not not as great cards um, at Legacy also. I have Prospero, the impossibly glorious. No, oh. impossibly glorious, Prospero. It's not a bad penny. 
if this is a Logo Sanctum Unfathomable deck. Oh, the, 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 doc, the doctrication. No oh god. The doc, the doc, uh, skip. Oh jeez. Yeah. Yeah, you come back, you come back here. You, if you go that way with that in your mouth, you're starting shit, Eddie. <laughs> if you go, if you do that, you're starting shit, Eddie. That is on you. Oh jeez. Uh, he's starting shit. Oh jeez. Legacy Squire Alice. Okay. Which is not an awful card, but still. Oh jeez. Does this deck have a way to make use of that? No. Time to open these orange mats. Sleeves. There is a seat for uh, seats forge in the Star Alliance in this deck, so that's something. Sea forge? Cease forge. Cease forge. Ah. Hookmaster. Love that card. Hookmaster is awesome. Ah, Volucanth. For an uncommon, we sure haven't seen a lot of them. Pretty good. Oh, we got two Abyssal Zealots. Hmm. I had a Bilge Warden? Oh, I had a Bilge Warden to go with Abyssal Zealots. Actually, that's a good, that's a good combo, I think. That is actually really good. You control. Mm-hmm. Oh, two cleansing waves. Ooh. Two Teresas. Hmm. Three Teresas. What? Oh, wow. That's pretty good, right? Uh way team's pretty good with Teresa. Yeah. So you're back, Eddie. You lose your uh Yeah. Can't, lost his chew. Can't help but notice that you don't have your chew there, Eddie. That's what happens. I knew you were gonna have them. Not up here. Can't be you can't be reasoned with, dog. I tried to help you and help hide it, but no. Meatball's gonna eat it all at once. Yeah, <laughs> she's she will swallow whole it. Mm -hmm. we'll choose target meatball. Choose target dog snack, and the larger power target swallows the and the entirety of the other thing. Eddie gets a treat. Okay. Code Red is given an Eddie a treat. Yeah. Mass Mutations, it was incredible in Mass Mutations. Yeah, the damage whips added a lot to it. There's just like more cards that do damage. There wasn't a lot in Coda that just kind of spread damage around. I mean, your best bets were like... It's like Logo stuff. Uh, I was, well, I was going to say, your best bets were Ammonia Clouds and um, hey. Poison hey. Wave, right? Hey! But... Eddie. Both of those were pretty good at killing. Okay, yeah, that kind of <laughs> came sliding in, sliding in hot. Eddie. Making the, the toy pile. Yeah, I'm gonna have the that meat, toy pile. The meatball can't have this toy pile. Right, exactly. Exactly, player herp. A lot, a lot of creatures just didn't survive those. I mean, ammonia clouds killed so so much stuff in shadows, so much stuff in untamed. Common, common cold is great. Uh, it's con so, uh, common it's unironically cold, really good. Yeah, common cold is unironically an incredible card. Mm -hmm. Um... Because Barkus Rex, like, it did work with it, it. It is, it is a secret powerhouse in Barkus Rex. So, it's also really good with uh, Save the Pack. Mm, yes. 
Yeah, yeah. Fire Spitter. I love Fire Spitter. I don't know why Fire Spitter wasn't printed in Worlds Collide with yeah. all the wards and stuff, right? Yeah, it would have been really sweet. It would have been pretty good. Impossibly glorious. Um, Zarkon is impossibly glorious. <laughs> it's pretty good. It does look like it's wearing like an elegant gown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we don't necessarily have to get through all six tonight. Um, I know it's already nine thirty. Yeah, but... yeah, we can, we can, you know, we could take it pretty easy to try to like, yeah, to make sure that, that it's just got... that's like more. We can do like the remainder on Thursday, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I think I think I'm fine stopping here. Yeah, after this game. Um, so we'll. Um... Yeah, that is a good name. Five. Eight. This is a grand old hand. It's like a robot from Doctor Who. Did we roll already? You what? I won. He, you think that he has retrieved a third rope toy to add to the <laughs> pile. You got more. I know you got more, Eddie. You better go get him. You better go get him. Meatball's going to take him. I think Meatball's going to take him, Eddie. Okay. I will split Zwickala. Vorlon? Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Orange sleeves, sleeves be popping. Yeah. I do like them. Kosh, yeah, there you go. Ambassador Kosh. I know, if we didn't have stuff, weird stuff going on at the start of the stream, we could have gotten through all six. We were just stalling. <laughs> I am going to say Logos. I'm going to play P.I. Swevin. I'll play Old Egad. I'm going to phase shift, uh, I guess, sink or swim to discard a card at random from your hand. Uh, and then... Hey. I will play Tall Mage Steelheart, who's going to have five counters. It's not it's here. Too you took it. It's too hyped. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. What were you doing? You ripped my fun away. You were going to do some cool stuff. These games don't matter, so it's like... Mm. like we're playing them just to do cool stuff. Yep. Um, go ahead. Play Drixgar or uh, Kirker, I mean. Play uh, I'll Shield You later on Wicola. I'll put Amber back on Wicola and raise the tide. That's it. That sure would have gained me too, Amber. Mm, yeah, it would have. It would have been pretty good. Matt, your turn. All Mage with Taunt. All right, I am going to say Sanctum. I will play Light Everlasting. And there's uh, no sanctum creatures to use. I am going to play Grand Melee, which is going to destroy your board but not touch mine. Um, I am going to heal or harm to just heal a unit and gain one. Uh, I will discard this other Grand Melee. Um, and then I will play this Hammergram to hammer my old Egad to ward P.I. Sweven and Tall Mage. I think it is better to have the ward on Sweven. Um, than it is to have a living old e yeah. So um, I will draw five. Go ahead. Play Bever. Play Larry of the Lake. Play Seneschal. Play Zalvador. This is a capture icon. Okay. Uh, all right. I am going to say Logos. I'm going to play Bilge Warden. Um, that's going to raise the tide. I am going to reap with P.I. Swevin. I'm going to check and make sure you don't have a Joya. Uh, and then reap with P.I. Swevin, and the tide is high, so I'll draw three. Um, 
And then I will play Tall Mage for two, because it was Bilge Warden. Yeah, Bilge Warden and. Uh, wait. Is that two? Is it one? Yeah, it was Bilge Warden and Tall Mage, so two. Um, tall Mage. Did I take out Sargassa? Yeah, I think so. Sargassa is huge. I get a lot of use out of this ward right here by killing a six power creature. So my tall mage is eight. Um, and it is your turn. I do not draw any because I have seven cards in hand. Well. I'll say unfathomable. I'll play Storm Surge, stuff isn't ready. I will Wrath of Ruin to return the Tall Mages to your hand. Two creatures. Two creatures. Tall yeah. Mages. Okay. I'll play a Horde Sign In. I'll brain drain you. No, oh, you just look at me. Yeah. There you go. Zillet back on top. Okay. Abyssal Zillet. I'm done. Okay, I think I just say Logos here. Um, I'll reap with PI Sweven to draw three. Um, and I will play a Tall Mage and a Tall Mage. So one, one, two. Build Warden. The Naked Build Warden. Um, Reaping gives you the Tide. I think I do nothing with the Build Warden, that way I've got options. And it is your turn, and my cards do not ready. Say Sanctum. Fight, Swevin. Fight, Swevin. Fight, Build Warden. Play Cleansing Wave. Play. It's not tonight. Your turn. All right, I am going to say unfathomable. I'm going to play Recusal's Chant, and I have the Tide, so I'll exhaust every creature. Um, I am going to play two Hook Masters and an Abyssal Zealot. Um, I'll play this other Recusal's chant. I think there's like a there's an argument to hold this. Um, I've made that argument. And I've convinced myself. <laughs> um, I will draw one, and it is your turn. I will ready. Okay, I'll say Starlance. I'll play a Cease Forge. Okay, it's two time counters. It's at the start, start of my turn. Remove a time counter from Cease Forge, then destroy it if there are no time counters on it. Oh, uh, well, that card seems pretty good. Yeah. Right? Because it wins in a situation where both players are trying to go for the last key, right? Because you remove it at the start of your turn, and then you can forge. Play Teresa. Play away team. Play Teresa. Play Teresa. Uh, I'm done. Okay. I am going to say Unfathomable. I'm going to play Wakolia. I am um, the this hook master is gonna fight Sir Bever. Um, you'll lose to uh, Abyssal Zealot will reap. Um, do I want to take out the other Sir Bever, or do I want to take out? The, do I want to finish Sir Bever off so that I can get to this sweet juicy other creatures? Um, I think so. I'll finish Sir Bever off. You'll lose another two. Uh, you've only got one two lose. He's dead now. And then I will Recusal's Chant and tap all creatures. And... This is the unfathomable where I'm not participating in the game. It is your turn. I will draw it to you. Yeah, see previous notes on yeah. unfathomable punishing creatures that are 
play to the table slowly and Okay, I'll say Sanctum. I'll play Marshall Ewer and raise the tide. Play Orion. I'll play Doorstep. Oh, you can't even forge with C Sword. So like C Sword to Doorstep is actually interesting. I will not do any of that then. Okay. But I do lose a Siege Forge counter. I'll say Unfathomable in that case. I will play Sabog's Thingamabob after each player after your opponent forges a key, exhaust each creature they control. Hmm. I will sink or swim to exhaust a creature in each of his neighbors. Look at those. And I'll recusal's chant. Did you want to take the tide or no? No, I don't. I'll to exhaust the Atal Mage. That's it. Okay, I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Grey Augur. Um, I am going to play Taxing Journey. And I will capture onto Bookmaster. Um, and then the Bissell Zealot will capture uh, Neighbor. Uh, I will play Squire Alice. Um, I, I'll play Cleansing Wave, I guess, to gain that one. Um, and uh, it's your turn. I will draw four. Okay, so now I remove this from Seas Forge. It explodes. Now I'll say Sanctum. So I will doorstep. Yep. After I raise the tide, those dump. Mm -hmm. and that one dumps. Play Orion. Justin's deck looks impressive. I think we we're I think we're similar. Uh, I will play this is Marshall and raise the tide. Okay, so that'll dump out. I will. I, I do agree the Cease Forge plus uh Light Zealot. Uh you have more armor. armor. Yep. Okay. I'll fight Wickela. Uh I do agree Sea Forge plus uh doorstep is good. I'll fight the Hookmaster. Oh, he's not enough to kill a hookmaster. I'll fight the Hookmaster with a way team. Okay, take two. Two. The one that had amber or the one that did not? Had amber. Okay. Um, I will reap twice with those, and that's it. Um, I am going to say Unfathomable. I am going to play an Abyssal Zealot. I am going to play a Baloo Camp. Um, I will take three chains to raise the tide. And the Abyssal Zealot will capture two. And then I am going to Recusal. Uh, first I have to hook. Hookmaster will go kill Larry the Lake, um, and you will lose two. And then I'm going to Recusal's Chant to exhaust all creatures. The three of those in there? Yeah. What the F? Um, I will draw two, drop a chain, and then ready stuff. So what check in the F? Check with seven. You like the new Tide Graphics Vampire? That's cool. Thank you. 
Um, yeah, three three Teresas is good. I I I'll agree with that, right? I think the I would I would have been run over this game without the Recusal's chance, right? I've stopped like nine activations off of Teresa creatures or something. So I'll say I'll say unfathomable. Put under pressure. Okay. Under pressure. Okay. I will play a frigorific rod. And I'm done. Okay, so I will forge my whole board's tapped. So there's only one thing to do in this situation. Conduct a little science. I'm gonna final analysis. God. Um, so I'll draw seven. You'll draw a ton too, right? Twenty. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. You'll get those back. Two. I will draw one. six. I shuffle and draw one. Is the best word wipe. It's pretty great. Upgrade should my, be my shuffle. Oh, okay, yeah. Great. Seven. Yeah, final analysis is there. Please. Five more. Okay. So I am going to discard Ruins of Arcanus because I just let Justin draw seven cards. <laughs> yep, that's pricey. Um, plus he's got one in the archives. Uh, as tempting as it is to give Justin four amber in a nice tight game like this, uh, I think I will decline. Um, it, it is... I'm pretty sure this is sure fire for my next turn. Like, next turn, yeah. I think I can like guarantee that I play six cards as well, but um, yeah. Uh, I am going to play Eddie and Archive a card, and I am going to play Tall Mage Steel Heart. So I had Final Analysis, Eddie Tall Mage. So that's three, and then I am going to Archon's Callback to draw five. So yes, that was a draw twelve turn. What if I told you I did not have six cards? To play? Oh, I feel like an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> I don't think you can play in that situation. No. There's like no way to play. What if I told you? All right. I will say Sanctum. I'll do three to each flank creature. Okay. Well, that is a dead Eddie. I'll play Marshall. Raise the tide. I'll play Sir Bever and Orion. I'll taxing journey on to... Uh, I'll just do it on to Bever. It's fine. Your turn. All oh, right, I am going to say unfathomable. I am going to play Flame Gill Enforcer. I am going to play Abyssal Zealot. I'm going to play Flash Freeze, and so for the remainder turn, after I play another card and exhaust a creature, I'm going to Recusal's Chance or Bever, and then I will tap uh, Urian. Um, and then I'm going to Recusal's Chant um, Marshall Ewer and tap one of your creatures yet again. And um, do I let you keep the tide for now? I think I do. Um, go ahead. Hmm. 
Hmm. I feel like this is a bad matchup for this deck, but I think this deck is good. Mm. I tend to agree because um, you have done powerful things. Uh, but the tapping is working horribly against Yeah. You. That deck is just insane at it. Yeah. It's actually insane. Um, I will say Star Alliance. I will Grand Alliance Council. Choose Orion. Flame Gill. Homage. Play away team. I pick up the archive. Uh, I'm going to put Play the Archive's Amber back and Risa on Orion. Let's say, kill me. Do it. I'm right here. 6-3. Your turn. I am going to say um, Sanctum. I'm going to Hammergram, the away team. Do Amber. Yep. Okay. I am going to Cleansing Wave to gain two. Uh, I'm going to play Sir Bever and then Grand Melee so everything dies. Uh, and then I'm going to play Light Everlasting to bring back Sir Bever. Um, I do think Light Everest has a, a nice hidden feature because it effectively gives any Sanctum creature in your hand taunt. Mm -hmm. I mean, deploy, yeah, yeah. right? There's already a, one or two Sanctum creatures in the set that have deploy, but uh, I do think it, that it is cool that it gives other creatures um, deploy. So, uh, uh, like, it's, it's it doesn't read that, but you can discard and then play the Sanctum creature. So, um, all right, I'll drop a chain and draw four and say check with seven. There, I'll say unfathomable. I will exhaust Bever. Exhaust it. I will play under pressure on him. Yeah. Under pressure. I'm going to destroy each exhausted creature. And I'll play the Tumwa of the Glow. Yeah. So I had the destroy each exhausted creature, and I could have exhausted all your stuff so many turns, but you kept exhausting all my stuff. So it's like, it would just destroy all of your creatures. Yeah, and yeah. I, I probably should have done it before the final analysis. Yeah. Because I could have that turn. <laughs> uh, but I decided not to. <laughs> all right, so I forge for six. Yeah. I don't have any creatures to tap to the thing of my bob. Um, I am going to say unfathomable. I'm going to play Recusal's Chant and tap the Tomwa. And then I am going to play a Hookmaster. I'll drop a chain and draw two. This like really wants to untap with creatures. It doesn't even have to take the same house again because of the stupid Teresa's, but I can't do that. <laughs> you have yet to untap with creatures. Yeah. Okay. I'll say... Uh, yeah. Unfathomable. I floop, I floop the fish. Play Storm Surge so your stuff isn't ready. I will okay. discard a random card from your hand. Okay. I'll exhaust that guy. Yep. Super exhausted. I'm done. Tall mage. Um, I am going to say unfathomable. I'm going to play an abyssal zealot in a blue camp, and it is your turn. I will draw four. All right. Let's say. Star Lance. Play Kirkrod. Oh man, you're gonna draw so many cards of that Tomwa, aren't you? Play Drixgar. Give Tomwa to Teresa. You I'll, get one for the you get one for Drixgar. I'll reap with Tomwa. I'll exhaust a creature and draw one for each exhausted creature. My enemy uh each exhausted enemy creature. So yeah. three. I will play an away team. And that's it. Okay. I am going to say Logos and put my archives into my hand. I had a frustrated face on? Oh no. 
Um, I am going to play Bilge Warden and raise the tide so the Abyssal Zealot will capture two. I am going to play P.I. Swevin. Um, I am going to BDQ. We have the Hookmaster and Drixker. I don't I think it's like represents too much of a threat. Um I think that Bilge Warden and Bissell Zell it's like too good to break up that combo, but Flu Camp is a house too. And Swevin is so good. Um um, I'm going to get Volucanth and Tomwa. Um, and then I am going to phase shift sink or swim. And do I want to discard a card at random? You drew a bunch of cards last turn. Or I can tap your creatures. Um... I will tap your creatures, and it is your turn. I will draw four. Man, sure does suck <laughs> to not be able to use my creatures ever. Uh, I guess I'll say Sanctum. I'll play Ryan and the Staunch Knight, and I'll discard Cleansing Wave. Um, okay, I think I'm not doing like a lot with this Logos turn, but I think it's too good not to take to like draw three and then dump that two Amber, right? So I'll say Logos, I'll reap with PI Swevin and draw three. Okay, I am going to play old Egad. Um, and then I am going to reap with Bilge Warden, which is going to dump this Amber. You'll get the Tide back, uh, which doesn't trigger anything else, though, right? Um, okay, and it is your turn. Ready up. Ready to go ahead. Say... Sanctum. Play Larry of the Lake. Oh, Larry. Capture one. Uh, my stuff's plus two armor. I'll fight Abyssal Zealot. Dead. I'll reap. And then gain three. I'm done. I want this. I, I can't wait to see this deck unleashed. <laughs> Unchained. See it un <laughs> That's the uh, the deck I played earlier where you like kept my board tapped or whatever yeah. for as long as you did with like the chosen one. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's the same, it's the same, same thing. situation. Um, I guess I have to take the Sanctum turn. It doesn't do exactly what I want it to do. I am going to Grand Melee, which just kills the Larry, but that shuts off that Uriah that is uh, uh, ter terribly, terribly dreadful. I am going to play Grey Augur. I'm going to play Legacy Squire Alice and Capture 2 hugely relevant here. Um, he 
heal or harm. I can't get this to work. Your creatures are too good. <laughs> Your creatures are just too good. So I will just fully heal a creature and gain one. Um, I am going to hammergram Uriah. Not fun. And then I will cleansing wave to gain one. My fun! <laughs> and it is your turn. I will draw two, shuffle, draw two more. Say really fun. I'll say <laughs> unfathomable. Brain drain. Uh oh. Play Wicola. the brain drain away okay I'll put taxing journey on top I'll fight Bill Jordan and during your Unfathomable That's my unfathomable turn. I will exhaust Bill Jordan. That's what I meant to say. Uh, I'm done. Talk cards with logos. Um, I think I just generate Amber with Sanctum here. Uh, Squire Alice fights better than Reaps for this cleansing wave. So Squire Alice will fight Wicolia. Um, and gain one for the auger. That that's the tiebreaker. Um, cleansing wave for three. Um, gray auger fights Colia, and I'll heal or harm to heal the gray auger. And gain one. Say check with ten. It's your turn. I will draw three. Baron Forge. I will say Star Alliance, play Cease Forge. Play Shield you later. Teresa. That's done. Fight. Weven. Fight Bill Jordan. Your turn. Okay. I am going to say unfathomable and take three chains to raise the tide. I am going to play Hookmaster and Wakolia. I'm going to Recusal's Chant to tap your board. It starts again. Um, on tap, and I'll draw two. And it's your turn. They are all exhausted. Um... Say unfathomable. 
play sign in, play. Teresa on the sign in. Brain draining. Wait, unfathomable? Yeah. You're, just try you're oh, trying sorry. to play your Teresa's all. I am very tired. Sorry. It's past my bedtime now. He's got the doorstep. I'm like 99% nine, sure he's got the doorstep. So he can't stop me. Is the thing, right? We'll put light everlasting on top. Yep. I'll wrath or ruin. Uh, I will return. It's up to your hand, I think. Look at Hookmaster. Gray Augur. Exhaust. Ocola. And that's it. Turn is absurdly gunked up. Um. I just have to say logos here, I guess. Uh, I'll discard runs of Arcanus because that is like a way for you to actually win the game. I'll play two Tall Mage Steel Hearts. Um, actually, I need to play these better. I'll play these on this side. Um, if I had literally had any way, anything to do with this Uriah, I would do it right now. Um, and then I will throw old Egad into Kirker, um, and that will ward Wakolia and Squire Alice, which I think are both very important if I'm going to win the game. Um, and it is your turn. I will drop a chain and draw two. Let's say check. Yeah, see, Sword explodes. Let's see, uh, Sanctum. I'll play doorstep. I'll reap with Orion. Gain three. Gain four, right? Gain the one from the oh, reap yeah. and then three for the armor. Play Zalvador, play Seneschal. Play Honor or Glory. Uh, let's do three to each non flank creature. I'm sorry, flank creature. Flank creature. That kills my stuff if I do non flank. Um, then Staunch Knight will fight Squire Alice. And that is my turn. Okay, I am, oh, she's dead. Uh, I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Grey Augur. I'll play Light Everlasting on Squire Alice. Capture two. I will play Taxing Journey on Tall Mage. And the Tall Mage neighbor will capture. I will say check with seven. I'll drop my last chain and draw three. This thing. Play Larry of the Lake. Take three chains. Raise the tide. Reap with Orion. You capture with Sargasso. Capture with Sargasso. I lose. I can final match. analysis next turn, but uh, uh, I'll have taxing journey for three. I months. don't think I have any amber control. In... Oh boy! Yeah, <laughs> Seas Forge and doorsteps a good combo. Yeah, it's a good combo. Uh, somehow I didn't have ways to tap that Urian, despite you tapped like, it so many times. Like the one turn, there were I need... literally infinite turns where Urian was going to gain like six yeah hours. I know yeah. I know that's why I kept them tapped the whole game but yeah. I ended up drawing the stupid tall mage steel hearts instead of something I could do something Ooh. so unleashed um, that was a good game
Yeah. I, I, you're that's... unfathomable one that game. Yeah. Because uh, I... As much as as much as I delayed you, and I definitely hurt you more than you hurt me. You hurt me just enough. Yeah. You clunked up my hand right then when I wanted to do something with the uh, tie. So yeah, that was insane. Um, that was a really good game. Um, That's that is a good example of like brainy Dark Tidings games. I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. unfathomable control potential. Of yeah. It. So uh, I mean, I just I don't see I don't see how there isn't like a even. There, there, there's going to be a disgusting, unfathomable control deck that yeah. comes out of this set that is just like the scourge of Archon tournaments. Um, so, Ooh, okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. Thank you again. The amazing gift. Yeah, oh, or, incredible. Cannot... We'll show it one more time. I don't know if anybody yeah, else has joined. Um, we'll show it one more time. Uh, um, it's just absolutely incredible. Um, spearheaded by Mortivus. Uh, Yo-Yo Milkworm with the aluminum plating here, uh, which is awesome. Was are these disc plates or no? Um, do you guys know, or did you have you just had somebody that could print these? Um, but uh, um, the poster tube's got uh, just just posters in it. So we have we have the poster tubes. Yeah, so there we have go. actual posters with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, full. Full art of us as our archons. Um, so, yeah, very cool. Uh, do you know what a displate is, Yo Yo Milkworm? If you don't, then I don't think you got a displate then. But displate is a company that makes um, metal plates like this. That, um, um, but so, uh, so I'm assuming not. <laughs> it sounds like not, but um, these are amazing. But yeah, it's got uh, foam on them. <laughs> um absolutely incredible so uh, no company near you had cool oh, okay nice okay ah, okay cool cool yeah is that why you all were at that apple we, place yeah that may have been on the way or something like that i see um that's that's why my detective skills jumped to some sort of um like hanging display of some kind and i was thinking like because you were like went to like this this rustic apple place and i was like i i would i wouldn't be surprised if somebody had like a cnc machine you guys had like a like a ttr logo and something like something sweet looking this reminds so. me of like a space marine kind of yeah like space marine yeah, commander the, the armor and yeah the, yeah i don't know if he looks uh, like kind of jairus it's like uh the the um the staff is like a librarian uh, yeah. space marine librarian yeah, yeah. kind of staff so uh, it, it is looking good <laughs> pretty great um so yeah these are indescribably amazing yeah i it, it, yeah completely <laughs> completely destroyed my expectations um so yeah thanks again everybody thank you the whole list i'll go over the list yes. one last time let's go over one the last list. time so more to this is the mastermind followed uh by his uh, entourage. The artist is Balance Sheet. Balance Sheet, yes. Balance Sheet is the artist. Um, if someone wants to link his art station again. Yep. So, his website. Uh, and the full list is One Star Peeps, Five Star Games, um, Bearded Archer, Bill I Am, Clay, Playmore, Code Red only, Dave C, Dave Cordero, Justice Blinded, Kelly U, which I believe is uh, Kelly is unique in chat, Hyper946, Lord of Winter, Lord Farquaad, our, our ever loyal vassals. <laughs> um, Mortivus, Must Be Jake, Nihil, Player Herp, P Rod, Sky Jedi, Storm Strong, Yo Yo Milkworm, and Zack and Megan Armstrong. So, once again, thanks everybody for this An incredible gift. Uh, um, so, yeah. The greatest gift you can yeah. give us, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, but, honestly. Um, um something i can think complete. of nothing that would be better than this yeah <laughs> so yeah yeah. Uh, yeah it's uh yeah big big hands class nice to everybody class thank you everyone so yeah. thanks to more of us putting it all together uh we'll be back tomorrow night for tomorrow night uh, more are sealed um some number probably probably in the four range again, yeah because the four took us a while tonight yeah. yeah and that'll that'll leave us a good number for thursday so yeah i'll try to get the playmat going as soon as possible kelly uh um, sure yeah 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 because so. uh, I, I haven't I haven't messaged Inked Gaming in like two years now to get new stuff on there, but I hopefully I can get the same contacts to get stuff on that site again. Because I, oh, yeah. I would like a I would like a 
uh, frilly edged play mat like we have with ours. Mm, yeah, the with stitch. These. It'll look really the good. Stitch, really, yeah. really, really good. Yeah. All right, everyone, have a great night and a uh, great Monday, and we'll see you same time tomorrow night. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow night. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks again.